In this video, I'll be showing you how to prepare for lure fishing, some safety tips, what to wear, what to bring, and a simple knot. Hi guys, it's Hardy Taha again. In this video, I'll be going for a fishing session. And at the moment, I'm just heading towards a fishing ledge. A couple of tips and recommendations I want to give to you. Um, firstly is join a online forum, a uh, fishing forum like Fish Radar or Ozfish. Or you can join uh, Facebook pages, a great place to get tips and hints but also share knowledge. Another way you can learn is watching videos. Um, go to YouTube and watch Morning Tide or the Dixon Brothers, those guys are really good. Otherwise you can watch our Kiwi Cousins. Ultimate Fishing or uh, Big Angry Fish, you can get a lot, of th a lot of hints from them. Okay. I'm on the way to the rock spot. So there's already about four people over there and it's a really small ledge. Conditions don't look too good either. So I might give another couple of spots a try. Not looking too good over here. Well, I'm obviously not going to go to that ledge, so I'm heading back to the car and going to drive to find another uh, another fishing ledge. A couple of other tips, safety tips. Watch the weather uh, throughout the week. Um, you can do this uh, watching uh, willy weather on the, on the net. Um, Seabreeze or even uh, uh, bomb.com. Uh, make sure that you watch for the uh, swells and watch for the wind. Either one or both that are high is a no go, um, especially if the swells are over 1.5, guys. Now, second tip is tell someone where you're going. Uh, make sure that someone knows. I mean, for my purpose, I told my wife and a few of my mates. Fortunately, none of them can come today. The third safety tip is when you get to the near the location, just watch the location, uh, watch the waves and see if it's safe uh, for about five to ten minutes before you go there like I did earlier. The fourth recommendation is obviously the life jacket, much needed. Make sure you bring one along, find a light one, a small one, but it's needed. And a couple of final uh, safety tips which I'll go through in a bit more detail later on in the video is angel rings, um, bring water and make sure you have cleats. Hey guys, I'm at the second spot. Um, I'm gonna check the conditions out. It's pretty windy. Uh, just wanna make sure it's all safe. It's safe on this side. Choppy, but um, I don't know. I have to check the other side. Some of these guys not wearing life jackets. Some are. It's windy on this side, though. There you go. Right. It's freaking windy on this side, man. It's a bit windy. I'll be able to throw some medals. So um, give it a shot. Um, just go through what brought with me. Put a rag. Very important. Got the hands. Plates. This is over the shoe. Um, I don't think I need them today. Um, there's not slippery rocks around here, so I'll put that away. But it's very important to bring these along. It's all for safety purposes. Um, my face mask, that I'll put on a bit later. Doors, get to them in a bit more detail. 
tell. essentials, try to keep it light, putting this rod together is quite simple, uh, it's a two piece rod, put it in, Tighten the handle. The rod's ready to go. And, uh, I've already prepared the leader on this rod. Use the SG, FG knot. Um, if you don't know about FG knots, I'll put a link below. There's a uh, bricks here from morning tide, that's the one I use, um, haven't had, not really good at it, but his one seems to be the, um, the most effective, the guy catches him and Caddy, they catch up to 50 kilogram, 30 kilogram GT, so those guys are just another, on another level, um, I'll put a link below for their site because you learn quite a bit from them. The only thing is that a lot of their footage is uh, they're catching big fish. Um, there's some things about rods, uh, some things about lines on their on their on their, um, on their YouTube page, which is really good. Um, I learned quite a bit from those guys, um, but I'm nowhere near their level. But those guys are just yeah, they're on another level, guys. Alright, so in terms of lures, um, what a few of me today. <coughs> Put a popper, don't know what brand, but um, might use that a bit later. The one I'll be using now is an X wrap. It's a, uh, I can't remember what the size is, there you go. X wrap, triple X wrap cast, 14. Um, these are awesome. Uh, they cast by far, easy to reel in, really good action. That's one I'll be using straight away. What a smaller version also. Uh, 12, size 12. Got a uh, Maria duplex also. These ones are really good for bonitos. And smaller plagics. And of course the, the trusty old metal lure, can't forget that. And I've got some squid jigs uh, just in case there are squids, so I won't give that a shot. Um, that's the gear I bought with me. In terms of the knot I use for the, ex for the, uh, for the lures, attachment to the lures, I'm just using a simple um, mini knot. Um, the tag end, 
lift to this ring, line them up, the tag end and the main. You want to do a loop on the tag end like that. See that? A loop. Use my two fingers there. And I'll just put that tag end through both lines three times. I only do that three times because it's such a thick line, it's an 80 pound line. If it was a smaller, lighter meter, I'll do a lot more. And just pull it along, pull it along. Just pull over. There's two purposes for this. It lubricates it, but also um, reduces the friction and weakening for the, uh, the meter line. Do that, just pull it along. You can see it all bunch up like that. All bunches up. Use your teeth to pull the, uh, the tag in. There you go. Done. What that does is, if you walk onto a fish and you pull, the harder the fish pulls, the tighter the knot gets. So, uh, that's it. One of the most important thing is uh, making sure you wear the right clothing, cover up. Uh, sun can get pretty nasty. So firstly, um, we'll start with the hat. Um, I got mine for $10 ever at Kmart. Doesn't need to be anything expensive as long as uh, you're wearing a hat. Then have a polarized uh, sunnies. You can get these at any servo. I got mine from 7-Eleven for $20. Not expensive, you can get really expensive ones though. And the more expensive obviously, the more better. Uh, make, get a fishing shirt, uh, a UV, one of those UV ones that I'm wearing right now. I mean, they they get for about forty dollars at BCF when it's on sale. A couple of really good ones, good patterns. An inflatable uh, life jacket is a must. Like I said earlier, sixty dollars at BCF when it's on sale. Get a good one. Shorts. I mean. I just got mine from uh, Aldi's, it's like $20 shorts, wear boardies, keep it light. I wear active tights um, so that I don't expose my skin really, I just feel more comfortable, keeps you warm in the morning when it's cold, um, but uh, protects you from the sun. The most expensive item I'm wearing right now is my shoes, my hiking boots. Um, you need really good ones, uh, otherwise your feet gets absolutely smashed. These ones cost me $190 from BCF. And make sure you put on some sunscreen. Of course, we're in Australia. Uh, $10 from Chemist Warehouse. Really important, guys. Just wanted to show you guys, normally, at popular rock fishing ledges, there's an angel ring. And these angel rings, basically if you fall in, someone could grab it and throw it at you or <laughs> throw it towards you. Um, and it could save your life. So knowing where these are are really, really handy. Especially if you don't have a life jacket. So I brought this water. What I do is I freeze it overnight. And it stays cool all day. Uh, the trick is just keep it under shade, turn it in the sun, otherwise if you live in the sun, it defeats the whole purpose. Very important guys, water. The other tip is, these are cleats, attachable cleats. Got these for about $50 over at um, Shin Shin tackle store at uh, Eastwood the ISO fishing guys really good value um, stainless steel quite simple to use for the front sign put it over your shoes and just put on the strap easy as that These are really important, um, especially in slippery rocks. Um, a lot of these rock ledges have alg algae and they're really slippery. 
and these will keep you uh, on the actual rocks you know you can slip I have slipped in the past um, and it's really ideal that you have good cleats now there is an option of these um, attachable cleats or you can get the the boots um, I've had both I prefer these to be honest uh, just purely because then I can wear my shoes now these are hiking shoes hiking boots they're quite expensive but it does um, it is a lot more comfortable um, I can use it for the actual walk from the car as opposed to the, uh, the the boots with cleats on them metal cleats on them they're really uncomfortable to walk on especially if you walk on it all day and fish all day um, you almost feel like your toes are about to fall off um, but these are far more comfortable um, they're a bit more versatile you can carry them around put in your bag you don't need them you don't have to wear them um, whereas the other ones you're kind of stuck with it um, $50 really good value for money and uh, you, you need this uh, going rock fishing as I as I swing the rod it creates a whole lot of splash oh that one just jumped try that again Again, swing it left to right, swing it left to right, right to left, doesn't matter. Whenever you pull the, um, the lure out of the water, try not to hit the rocks for obvious reasons. You don't want to damage the lure. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Let the waves help you get the, the lure out. So I've got the white size tall triple X wrap. Hopefully this one doesn't get the bit broken either. These are lighter than the poppers, easier to cast. But they are fragile. Oh, man, people got thrashed. Guys, I just totally got thrashed by a wave, a rogue wave. My clothes are all soaked, my shoes are soaked. But I just want to show you guys what kind of views I, you know, I have when I when I go fishing, when I go rock fishing. It's just stunning. It's just, it's amazing. Um, and the whole of the New South Wales coast is like this, or even better. Um, and I hope I can show you guys 
in future episodes in future uh, videos but yeah nothing nothing for today but I got to go outside definitely got an exercise and I'm soaked just reflecting on this session a couple of negatives no fish obviously got hammered by a wave and got wet and my legs are burning like there's no tomorrow uh, the drive home was just it was really bad it was cramping all over the place and I uh, still feeling the pain now but some of the positives uh, it was a great workout lost about a kilo uh, great views I found a new spot a fishing spot and we'll see what happens next Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. And um, yeah, keep watching. Please subscribe and share. I'm hoping I'm getting a good shot on these guys, but there's a, there's a, there's a bunch of whales. I don't know what you call that, slapping their tails onto the water. I know I didn't catch anything, but at least I caught this. Well, I think it's done. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, there's definitely a few of them there. That is amazing. Yeah, there's at least two of them there. I think one of them is the baby. <laughs> uh. That's amazing. Anyway, beautiful.